All right, welcome back to another super exciting episode of the Second Opinion Loan Officer podcast. Uh, last episode was so fun with Brian View from Finlocker, and and actually, quite frankly, from the conversation that we had about um, about generating first time home buyers, about uh, 2023, well, 2022 and 2023, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say. The overwhelming majority of 2024 is going to be focusing on first-time home buyers. Now that means that they may not be ready now, right? I mean, that's um, and 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 again, that's why I bought, brought Brian back because uh, at Finlocker they have this really cool uh, private tool that you can offer uh, consumers so that they can check their credit, they can create budgets, um, they can even search for homes for sale on this uh on this app so uh we were talking on the last episode if you didn't see our first episode uh i recommend you go back there because we we had a really good conversation about who this audience is how to approach them today uh and then i started thinking because i've kind of been on this chat gpt kick and trying to figure out how to use it in in our industry and i was like wow i wonder what it would look like if i just use chat GPT, create an ad uh, to a drip can't sequence to get them into our FinLocker. So I did it and I actually really enjoyed it. So I invited Brian back on to go through this thing. Um, and again, I, I, at this point, now we're working on something. I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag, but we're not, I'm not giving you a specific strategy that you can swipe and take away. Right now, I'm really trying to bring you along as I discover ChatGPT, and I kind of understand the features and how to use it and how to experiment with it. So you can absolutely take these questions and take our um, take our prompts, and you'll get the same results. Uh, and these are really good. I thought that these were interesting results. They they don't need a lot. Um, everything out of ChatGPT requires you go back in and humanize it. Right. It's just it's going to give you really good ideas, but you still have to make it come from Scott, still have to make it come from Brian. So, buddy, um, I put together a uh, first time buyer lead generation strategy uh, around uh, around FinLocker using chat GPT. So let's uh, let's dig into it. So our mission uh, today is home buyer leads. We're going to use ChatGPT to create a Facebook ad and a follow-up campaign that drives future homebuyers into a FinLocker account for nurturing until they're ready to buy. Can I, can I add just one clarifying statement or, or maybe just to help really uh, crystallize the vision here? Yes, please. When, when Scott says FinLocker account, this is not going to be a consumer-facing brand of FinLocker that our product gets, we publish our app in a white label fashion for uh, enterprise clients, mainly lenders. Um, Scott is a client and Find My Way Home is a client. So imagine instead of FinLocker as the brand that you're driving future home buyers to, it's replaced FinLocker with Find My Way Home or Agency Mortgage or Joe's Mortgage Company or Jill's lender, that type of thing. Yeah, no, no, a hundred percent. I, I, I'm, I'm referring to FinLocker just as, as the particular tool. Yeah. Um. But, but you're, you're a hundred percent right. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of folks in the industry that are using this tool, but you don't know it, um, because they're using it under, under their, their branding and their labeling. So, yeah, when I say FinLocker, we're talking about the tool, but for you, it can be. Joe's mortgage readiness app yeah. <laughs> or that kind of thing. Uh, so here's the overall strategy. The, 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 the strategy overview is I'm going to create a Facebook ad um, promoting a preparedness tool. Uh, we're going to have them fill in a form. Uh, that's what we're, go we're going to ask them to do. Uh, then the CRM is going to follow, uh, follow it up. And I created a five email and three text series follow up. Now, as I went into this, Brian, I, I don't know that I would exactly pursue it this way. Like the, the, the results that I ended up getting, 
I mean, we'll go into it when we, when, when I show it, but you know, we t usually talk about CRM sequences as it, uh, it gets them to download the app. Um, initially that's how I was thinking about this is I wanted to get them to download the app, but actually what it created for me was a follow-up sequence that I think was way more powerful and, and even, um, kind of assumed that they had already downloaded the app, um, so I would restructure this differently. Again, like I said, this isn't fully baked, um, but this is going to be a tasty little treat, <laughs> even <laughs> though it's not fully baked. Um, so, so this is the this is really what we're using is the mortgage readiness uh, a mortgage readiness guide. Um, our call to action for this entire thing is: Hey, get this really cool tool um, because it's going to help you get prepared. And we're targeting if we're doing this on a Facebook ad, we're targeting right renters, right? We're targeting first time home buyers. We're targeting renters. We're targeting the very, very, we're, we're trying to get as early entry as we can because it's very, very inexpensive, right? It's just, there's not a lot of people that are going after, um, that are going after super early entry. Uh, so let's go. Okay. So this was the prompt, uh, that I put in Brian for the Facebook ad copy. Um, I said, create three options for a conversion optimized Facebook ad headline and copy for a campaign that encourages renters and first time buyers to use free credit, budgeting and homeownership journey tool to get mortgage ready in 12 months or less. Uh, include up to five emojis for each ad tone enthusiastic. Love it. So like this, this is the beauty. A, a friend of mine called this. I don't know if they made this up. It sounds to me like it's coding lingo, um, but they called this prompt engineering. And prompt engineering is the prompt that you put into the machine in order to get the desired outcome. So you'll notice I put a lot of detail in here. I asked for three options. I wanted it conversion optimized. They know it's a Facebook ad. I want the copy. I want to encourage renters and first time buyers to use this free tool. So let's see what they came back with. Ad copy number one. Ready to own your dream home? Let us help you get mortgage ready in 12 months or less. What do you think? I don't hate that. Yeah, I don't, I, it, it's pretty direct. <laughs> yeah. Stop renting and start owning our free credit budgeting and homeownership journey tool can help you achieve your dream of homeownership in just 12 months. Start your journey to homeownership today. Now, the reason that I like this, first of all, I think they, I think they pick some pretty cool emojis. Um, this also makes me wonder if I can tell it what skin tone to do the yeah. emojis, right? Yeah. So you probably want to do that. Um, but this doesn't feel like a sales pitch to me, no. right? Like, and, and if you filled this thing out, my vision with this um, was that it was an autoresponder. It goes in, here's the link to the app, um, and it's the autoresponder. So that was option number one. Let's look at option number two. Uh, unlock the door to home ownership with our free tool. Are you tired of renting and ready to buy your first home or free credit budgeting the home ownership journey app and help you get mortgage ready in just 12 months or less? Say goodbye to renting and say hello to your dream home. So they're using the, they're using the same emoji. Right the system, right? You didn't do any editing on these? No, no. This is just straight. This is the results from that prompt. Pretty powerful. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? So here's number three, ready to make your dream. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the rocket, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I did notice that, and I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, hey, I don't know if you can brand jack, and, and like they think that it's uh, – they think that they're going to push a button, get a mortgage. I'll take the lead. Uh, <laughs> uh, ready to make your dream uh, your dream of home ownership a reality if you're a renter, first-time buyer looking to own a home. Our free credit budgeting app, just 12 months or less. Don't wait any longer to start your journey to home ownership. Let's get started today. I really like this. I, I like this approach to building our home buyer database, yeah. Brian. It is, 
like, do you have anybody on your platform right now that's aggressively going after this early of an entry buyer? We do. We have um, three very new relationships that are uber focused, almost hyper focused on 12 plus month out client acquisition, right? They're not, they're not coming in saying we, I need to create revenue inside of three, six, 12 months. There's they're intentionally focused on 2024 and beyond, but using these types of approaches and, and do you think we could get them to experiment with, uh, with some of our ads here and give us some feedback? I'm already, yeah, I'm already, you're already juices are already flowing. Okay. So, um, Okay, so this this is this was really cool, man. I mean, God, I'm telling you, this blew my mind. So the next Chat GPT prompt was a five email series, and so remember, Chat GPT remembers everything that you did before. So all of the criteria that I gave it, what kind of borrower I was approaching, it can remember that. So my next prompt was literally, okay, <laughs> and I talk to Chat GPT like it's a person. Yeah, I, say, I, I, I say please and I say thank you. And I don't know, it, it's it's weird. So yeah. <laughs> I still haven't got it to make my my avocado toast in the morning, but I'm working on it. Um, okay, I now need a five email autoresponder sequence written for prospective home buyers that opt in to learn more about this free mortgage readiness tool. Okay, so we asked it for five emails. All right, this is a little bit small. So welcome and introduction. First email, welcome to the journey to home ownership. Dear so-and-so, welcome to the journey. We're excited to have you on board uh, and help you get mortgage ready in just 12 months or less. Over the next few days, we'll be sending you valuable information and resources to help you achieve your dream of owning a home. In the meantime, feel free to explore our free credit, budgeting, and homeownership journey tool and look and start taking what and start taking steps towards mortgage readiness today. Wow. Pretty good. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad at all. So we tweak this a little bit, right? So if this is the delivery, so this is how I would probably imagine it. And so initially I was thinking the the prompts are to get them to download the app. And if they yeah. click on the link to download the app, the sequence stops. But I actually like the sequence so much that I don't think I would want to stop it. So let's look at number two. So number two comes in with credit tips and I didn't tell it what to do. It just came up with credit tips, Uh, tips to improve your credit score as you work towards getting mortgage ready, improving your score is crucial. Good credit score not only helps qualify for the mortgage, help on your journey. We put together some tips to improve your credit score um, and then a link to your credit tips page. But actually Finlocker, has some really cool credit simulation tools, yeah. right? So so that's what I would probably do on this one. I like the idea of credit tips, but I think what I might do on, on this particular one is take a screenshot of, uh, of my phone app uh, of the credit simulator. And I would say in your app, you've got this and maybe put a link. Do I, do I have a link to their app? Or can I put a link in there that if they log on to it, it's just the login page? Um, they're, they're one and the same, right? Because when you get to the page, okay. it would be um, first time register here or log in. So on every one of these emails, I can reference a feature of the app and then put the link for them to log in and go back and look at it. Yep. Right. Because so this is a little this is a little a little geeky, but um, re- retention, client retention depends on them coming back and revisiting the app. Yeah. Right. So, so in order to stay top of mind, we've got to build that habit of, Oh, I want to learn about my credit. I click the link. I click the app. One, uh, of, the, one of the things though, to, just to keep in mind, and I love, I love your idea that you let this, this uh, email journey run out because so far I'm loving what I'm seeing. Oh, it gets so much better. <laughs> the, the, the added benefit would be what I love here is maybe an email one, they don't sign up for the app. Maybe an email two, they don't sign up for the app. Maybe it takes three or four. So they keep getting the, these valuable tips, but they also are encouraged to either sign up or sign in. 
if in one of these sequence emails they set up an account, they sign up a in the locker, right? They're still going to get this sec this 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 sequence, which is great. They're also going to be set up on an in-app sequence of communications because our our we're aligned in 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 our goal to get that consumer to come back in as often as possible. So if as an example, if someone signs up today, but they haven't linked their credit, they haven't created their credit profile. Yep. They're going to be put on an instant and in, in-app journey that's going to tell them all the great things and features and benefits and why it's important to monitor credit until they do that, they'll stay on that sequence. So they'll be getting kind of reminded of, of why they were prompted to sign up for the app and why they should take action in the app to see their credit score. You know, and if you're watching this right now and you're like, yeah, why would I do this? Why, why, why is this the solution to this market? Um, you know, ask rocket. Yeah. <laughs> they they yeah. launched, they launched a huge, they did it launched a huge campaign called rocket money, which is Finlocker. It essentially is the same type of app. They're trying to get early entry buyers in. Uh, I think we talked about this in our last episode that, you know, don't take my word for it. This is what the market leaders are doing. And I don't care what your opinion is of that company. They fund more loans than all of us combined right. probably. And so that means that their marketing is, their marketing is good. So um, yeah. So, okay. So let's, let's, let's go on. I'm glad that I, I'm glad I wasn't just crazy. I was thinking, <laughs> oh man, this is my juices were flowing and I see you going through the same process. So the next one, budgeting tips, holy cow. Uh, th oh, that's what I would do is I, again, I would, with each one of these, there's a feature in the app that addresses this. I would take a screenshot and I would probably put it in there because again, it's that, um, uh, what does Andrew Pollack calls it? Um, something about that it's it's you have to have the consistency through all of your messaging so yeah. if you put the picture there um and then they and and then they click on it and then they're going to see the app and it looks the same so budgeting tips uh budgeting tips to help you save for a down payment saving for a down payment can be one of the challenging uh one of the biggest challenges buying a home but with the right budgeting a strategy you can make your dream of home ownership a reality. That's why we put together some budgeting tips to help you save for a down payment. So maybe I didn't put together budgeting tips, but that's why I that's why I'm so excited that you you're on this because here's what the budgeting tool looks like. Yeah. And I would even go so far. I think this is an important enough strategy uh, that. I would put some of these resources together as like blog posts on your website and send them to your website to read the blog post or, or even better, um, a video of you kind of going through the app and showing how to use it and sending them to that with each one of these. I love that. Because, yeah, and, and this is a numbers game, man. I mean, if you get... It, you're, you're always going to get a percentage of people that are going to be ready. And this is just such a soft sell, but this is just building trust, building trust, building trust. There's not one point yet where you'd say, ooh, ooh <laughs> tap the brakes there, sales guy. You know, it doesn't come across that way. It's very yep. informational, very educational. Going back to Andrew at Lead Pops, um, he would jokingly say, Put your apply now button here, right? And watch them disappear. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I love this so much. I, I, I just, I love long game conversations. And that's the conversation that we need to be having in this market right now is you need to be doing everything that you can do to get transactions now, but you're going to find probably 60 to 70% of your time is thinking about your long game. How do you make sure that you don't, run into this problem again and you do it by building a huge database so email number four home buying process understand the home buying process uh, buying a home can be an overwhelming process especially if you're a first time buyer that's why we've created a step-by-step -step guide to help you understand the home buying process from start to finish again i would find <laughs> i would find or create uh actually 
I think Brian, what we could do is we could probably come up with a home buyer guide that we could oh, yeah. share that we could share with people, Absolutely. and maybe we'll do that as part of our our uh, our project that we're working on too. So this is really cool. This is a good one, the last one. Um, ready to take the next steps towards home ownership. Okay, we're getting aggressive with our sales pitch here. Congratulations on taking the first steps. Uh, you've made great progress by using our free uh, our free tool. Now it's time to make, take the next step. If you're ready to get pre-approved um, or start looking, just reply to this email and see how we can assist you. That wasn't that aggressive. No. Now, now the, good, the good news is, is, is if they've already downloaded the app, the we the the app has a what we call my home ownership journey. Yep. which is a data-driven um, journey that's that's using the, the consumer's actual data, so their income, their credit, the, their assets, to tell them step-by-step step where they are on that process. We're not pre-approving them, but we're getting them to a place where they're ready to get pre-approved, right? And then also in the app um, is embedded real estate search. And the, and the beauty of all of this, I think, Scott, you know this, you've said it a couple of times, is the beauty of all of this packaged in the app is if you're, if you're a consumer who's 6, 12, 18, 24 months away from being ready to buy is using your app and they're using the tools in the app, the credit simulator, the budgeting tools, the real estate search, then guess what? They're, not, they're likely not needing to go to Mint, Credit Karma, or Zillow or Rocket Homes, which means they're in your ecosystem. They're staying in your ecosystem. You kind of have a, yeah. a moat around them. Um, you still have to earn their trust as an individual, right? The technology is not going to solve for that, but you've got you're you're going a long way towards providing a lot of value in these digital tools with, that are going to amplify your trust, your brand when it's time for that consumer to to click the apply now button. Yeah. And, and, you know, so one of the things that we do on the find my way home expert network is when, uh, is when our members create videos, uh, I'm, I'm encouraging them. Well, we're sending a, a digest of all of their videos once a month to this, to this list. So not only as, cause remember we're capturing their information first, then we're sending them an autoresponder with the link to FinLocker. So we have their data and they're now on a list and they're now segmented as an early entry buyer. And one of the things that I always say about being a content creator is you don't have to solve the consumer's problem specifically. You are just showing them that you are a problem solver over and over and over again. So as you create content, you can continue to nurture. Now, email drips are cool. They're fine. But if we're going to follow in the footsteps of our friends, uh, like over at Bonzo, uh, we know that texts are even more effective than emails. So I decided to throw another prompt in there. Um, this one, so there's two parts to this, this prompt. And the results were so, I don't know that the copy was good, but they followed instructions so well that it just blew my mind. So uh, this, this is the first part. Can you also write me a three text? Can you write me three text messages for this drip campaign that corresponds with the subject matter of the email campaign? Then... I said text messages to go out before email one, uh, then after email two, and the last one after email five. The last text should be understanding that they may not be ready to, they may not be ready now, and I will be available anytime they need, anytime they need questions. I didn't word that right. Yeah. Um, include up to three emojis in these texts. Tone should be enthusiastic. So I, because of the result of this, I want to go through this again. Um, can you give me three text messages for this drip campaign? Remember what we just did um, that corresponds with the subject matter of the drip campaign. And then 
I want it to not not just relate to the specific subject matter, but one that goes out before email one, one after email two, and then one after email five. So text message one, hey, blankety blank, uh, it's so-and-so from my company. Just want to say thanks for your interest in our mortgage readiness tool. Stay tuned for some awesome uh, tips and resources um, that'll help get you closer to owning your home. So I would tweet that up to say, check your in, check your email inbox. Yeah. There's a link to the free tool in there right now. So not so bad. Hey, keep an eye out. This is coming. So the second one was after email two. Do you remember what email two was? Budgeting or credit? Credit tips. Yeah, credit tips. Okay. Uh, after email two. Hi, Brian. Hope you're enjoying our tips on how to improve your credit score. Yeah. Have you checked our free credit budgeting and homeownership journey tool yet? It's an awesome resource that can help you get mortgage ready in 12 months or less. Check it out here. I didn't tweak this. Yeah. All I said was send it a text, squeeze it in between two and three and reference the subject of the, of the email sequence. Amazing. That's so cool. I just, I, uh, I love it. And then text three after the email. And this is, this is actually a really, really effective campaign that I've used. Um, my last email or my last text in a sequence always sounds like this. And you would be surprised how many people will reply back and say, thank you. I've been paying attention or actually I'm ready right now. So hi, I just want to check in, see how your journey to home ownership is going. Remember buying a home's big decision. And we're here to step you every here to help you every step of the way, even if you're not quite ready yet. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or need guidance. We're always here to help. Like that's it. It's Love just it. a soft, Hey, I'm here for you. <laughs> you yeah. know what, what can I do for you? Um, what do I have after that? Yeah. So, so Brian, what do you think of that? That was an interesting experiment. Don't you think? I think it's, it, it's, amazing to me that what you just what you showed the output was not no editing no. so now what what i really liked is how you explained the prompts because i think you know people are you know this chat gpt is obviously new to a lot of people and i know a lot of people are testing it and playing with it because when i go on in the morning a lot of times it tells me they're too busy and they kick, kick me out <laughs> uh, but uh i i think it's important that the, the setup the more you do in the setup in the prompt is going to, the quality of the output is going to be much better. And I think what we just looked at maybe one or two tweaks, but it's ready to go. Like it's out of the box, ready to go. Well, I, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't say out of the box. I say you have to unpack the box, but, but, and, and this is, this is where, where I'm at with chat GPT right now. That would have taken me a couple hours to come up with that campaign. Yeah. Easily. Right. And, and, copy. and and I don't think I would have nailed all the copy that well. Um, but that took me about five or 10 minutes. And now it's going to take me about an hour to edit it, get it all set up and put it together. So it would have taken me two hours just to come up with a copy, not even build it out. Yeah. <laughs> so that like that probably cut my time in half at least. Uh, yeah. and, and, and again, kind of what I found is, is it just makes your creativity even more creative because we come up with good ideas, but I've never once said, Oh man, I've got three really good ideas for this. Let me just write these down and see which one is best. Right. I usually come up with one and I say, okay, that sounds decent. And then you work it and then you rework it. So uh, again, finlocker.com is one way that people can find out. Brian, is there any other ways um, that people can get more information? You're putting a lot of really good stuff on LinkedIn, right? Yeah. So people should find you and follow you on LinkedIn. To see yeah, what I would, you're I doing. Would say LinkedIn is where we're really active. You can follow my personal account with Finlocker. We have a page there. I also have, I produce a weekly podcast, FinTech Fridays podcast, and I have a LinkedIn page for that. And so between those three LinkedIn pages, we're, we're putting out a ton of 
content to help people think about um, how to get up funnel and be effective at building your database. Um, certainly uh, feel free to reach out. Um, it's first name dot last name at finlocker.com, brian.view at finlocker.com. Um, and uh, I'd say first and foremost, if, if you're here, you already know Scott, but if, you, if you're not following Scott on all the channels, you should be, you're doing an awesome job getting very important content out there. Um, and, I, and I've been on a number of calls as recent as right before you and I jumped on where people reference what you're doing. And so you're making a difference. And I, and I for one, appreciate that. Well, I just think it's cool that I can just experiment with this stuff and, and, yeah. and hopefully it helps people. And, and most importantly, like what you talked about before we got on, um, we're going to really dive into this stuff. And I think we're going to try to create some resources for mortgage loan officers um, to use in a wide variety of uh a wide variety of different um, ideas and repurposing content and creating content, creating lunch and learn presentations. And, you know, there's all kinds of cool things that, that we can do that, that creativity sometimes stops implementing those strategies because it's so hard to come up with something from scratch. Yep. So that's all this is, is this is just, here's a cake, frost it the way you want. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be delicious. <laughs> um, okay, so that's that's that for 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 this. I hope you guys found this helpful, Brian. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, I um, I run a uh, a platform called FindMyWayHome.com. It's a consumer facing website. Basically, what we do is we introduce you to early entry buyer consumers today um, that are coming to our website looking for help. Um, and we're helping you create your own content so that you can be self-reliant and you're never going to have to buy leads again. So uh, if you want to learn more about what our program is and how that works, um, how you can uh, get leads today and learn how to create them yourself so you're never buying these things again in the future. You can go to findmywayhome.com forward slash LO expert or there's links uh, in the uh, description below. So thank you so much for being here, Brian. Um, yeah. I'm, glad, uh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm glad you had as much fun with that as I did. And, and um, every time I do this, and this literally just came from our first podcast. We had our first podcast and it got my juices flowing and I'm like, how can I get more people into my fin locker? And right. uh, I think this is one really good, good way to do it. For so sure. thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. See ya.